I just love coming out to the Swan Valley, 20 minutes from Perth, and it feels like we've stepped back in time. Well, there's been a long history of growing great wine grapes here in the Swan Valley, and I've come to where it all began, Oakover Estate. This bit of land produced the first wine to be exported from WA, got put in a big barrel and shipped off to London. It was a gentleman farmer named Samuel Moore who planted some vines in 1843. He was what's known as a progressive agriculturalist, and he reckoned these deep, sandy loams would be pretty good for growing grapes, and he was dead right. Pretty soon he was bottling his first vintage, and Oakover wines have been pumping out serious vino ever since. In 1929, Nicholas Eukage bought the land and went about planting row upon row of vines. He obviously knew he was onto a good thing. Well, thanks, Nicholas and Samuel, because your passion was the rootstock for one of my favourite cellar doors. Oakover opened to the public in 1990, and today they produce 18 different wines across four different ranges, from their Chenin, Chardonnay, Semillon, Cabernet, Shiraz and Tempranillo. The winemaker is a very, very talented young man. Dan Charter learnt his craft in the southwest Margaret River region. He now heads up the winemaking duties here on site. Daniel, there used to be heaps of different agriculture on this property. There was orchards and watermelons, but it looks like looks like vines have won out. Yeah, actually, most of the Swan Valley was under vine at some point, but we think our vines are the best. <laughs> Speaking of vines being the best, I tasted some pretty serious vino in there. Surely you've got a favourite tipple. Which one is it? It'd have to be our new release, Nicholas. It's a uh, new Shiraz that we take from the best barrels from the vintage. And you seem to have thrown the kitchen sink at it. You've got uh, a bit of creative freedom there, huh? Yeah, we take it from the best patch of the site and then we run it through some of our best new barrels as well. And uh, it spends a bit of time in barrel, right? Yeah, it runs about 12 months in barrel and gets taken out before the new vintage comes in. I suppose that means there's some in barrel now? That there is. Should we go and have a taste? Yes. <laughs> Whether it's sampling the Nicholas Shiraz with Dan, or enjoying the lighty, more citrusy notes on the Sauvignon Blanc, Oakover is a great place to relax and spend some time just watching the world go by. On sunny days, that lawn is full of picnickers and kids playing cricket. The paddle boats are gliding across the lake and you can spend hours just wandering around the vines. But today, I think I'm just going to drink this wine. There really is something special going on inside this glass. In the winery, it's called malolactic fermentation or malo. Ask your local wine expert for a wine that's gone through this process. Really simple. It just changes the naturally occurring malic acid in a wine to lactic acid. That's the same acid you get in cream and corn and butter. It's rich, it's round, it's supple and velvety soft in your mouth. Absolutely delicious, should try it. One of the great things you get to experience here at Oakova are the lengths that they go to to match all their wines with the cuisine served in their restaurant. Dan and the head chef Beck regularly collaborate, so the dining experience here is first class.